How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massabier Reviews back with yet another review. A little bit of 12 ounce Hill Farmstead Hop Forward, hopeful goodness, in the form of their Legitimacy India Pale Ale. Uh, this is a India Pale Ale brewed with a Citra, Motika, and Simcoe hops, uh, courtesy of my buddy Keith. Thank you very much, brother. Um, do a little bit of Hill Farmstead information on the side here. And this became less than two weeks ago. Um, they actually put a best by best drink by date. It's kind of weird. It's like it's like a month and twelve days, which is really weird. Um, maybe it could, well, it's eleven twelve, and it's drink by twelve twenty four. So maybe they just want you to chug um, beers on Xmas Eve. Yeah, I like the ham. So farmstead, there's nothing to it. So yeah, a little twelve ounce yammer. Let's see how this sucker shits. I meant, I said sits, not shits, but I try to say it with a weird accent. So it sounded like I said shits, but hopefully it doesn't shit in my mouth. Let's put it that way. Um, it looks like a hill form said hazy. What do I mean by that? The head on their hazy beers or their hop forward beers, and a lot of their beers tend to be a really tight back kind of head to it. Uh, you're getting that here. And it is hazy, but it has this kind of soft, like slightly watered down haziness to it. It's hazy, but it's not as turbid and thick and as dense as a lot of New England hazy IPAs nowadays. So it has that hill form said look to it, especially on the hazy front. So yeah, rich selling orange glow in the middle of it and kind of cataracty edges. It's got a nose. Not a huge nose on it, but a really nice, soft, welcoming nose. There is a sharpness to the green in there. It's a hot pellet green. If anything, it's leaning a little tomato stocky, but it's hot pellet green. It has a sharpness to it. But it, it's, it has, I've talked about this about the other uh, IPA that I had from them not too long ago. I'll try to post them both in the same day. It has this kind of limiter to it, to where it doesn't get too far. So it, it's peaking, but it doesn't, it doesn't get too out of control. And then there's like a, like a pineapple, not even pineapple. It's almost like a, a, a citrus, not even a citrus. Let's go grapefruit skinniness to it. That's kind of how the fruit is leaning for me. Yeah, really nice, man. Really nice, like welcoming. Like the way the hops are coming off are fresh, vibrant, sprightly, but at the same time, soft enough to where they're not overly aggressive. It just smells really nice. It smells like a citrus leaning without being too acidic, kind of a soft green. IPA. Let's just drink it. Cheers. Man. I'm pissed because there's no ABV on here. Man. I wonder what the ABV is on this. I'll find out after the review, obviously. But, God. I could drink, like, 763,000 of these. Um, yeah. It, it, it's got this really nice... Super creamy, almost like verging on the edge of lactose creamy, but it doesn't have that sweetness to it. Almost like it has a little bit of soft vanilla in it, kind of creaminess. You get that nice, rich uh, grapefruit, like I said, non acidic, non ripened kind of grapefruit on one end, and you get that soft, hot, pellety, slightly tomato stocky green on the other. Perfectly balanced with that really soft, creamy middle to it. <sighs> Welcoming, just super easy drinking. Chuggable, that's tasty stuff, man. The way that hop shows. So I was talking about that creamy middle part. There is this green portion of the show to it. That is like the most, like the most dangerous weed you've ever had in your life to where it's not like this overly pungent over the top, like kind of crazy icky sticky weed. It's like just this really fine, like, this is like refined, high-level weediness. We're not dealing with just stuff that smells crazy. We're, it's almost like the nose is nice, but it's just, you know, it's going to smoke so well. I don't even smoke weed anymore. I did years ago, but I guess I could talk my way through it uh, well enough to kind of peak your potheads fancy out there. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just really nice, man. It's super welcoming. I talk about that creepy thing I talk about where the beer like belongs inside of you. It's like almost like it's pH balanced and the whole bits and pieces of it are in tune with the human body. This is kind of one of those beers. Mm. 
absolutely fantastic. It's not going to blow you away with impact. I think you already get that from what I've talked about. But it's going to it's going to it's kind of like it's it's like a really softly sung opera that's not overly impactful. It just moves you because of how, you know, tied to I mean that's tied to emotion. I wouldn't really put that there, but the same kind of vibe to where this is like this isn't, you know, screaming at you. This isn't going to throw fucking shit at you. It's not going to tell you how you should think this beer should be. It's just giving you the good shit. And it's kind of making me a little bit giddy inside. And I think it'd do that for a lot of people. So unless you're looking for that two by four to the face, you're not really going to get in here. But if you're looking just well-made beer, this thing's going to fucking do you proper. Uh, so let's talk about it. it one of the better IPAs that I've had as of late. Yes. I mean, up there. Up there. Uh, one of the best, better ones I've had. Value and availability. You know, at Hill Farmstead, their prices are usually prettily, prettily, uh, pretty, um, you know, not too horrific. Um, brewery only. Unless you get it on draft, you can see their stuff on draft every now and then and leave you with, if you like, what well, will you like this beer if you like good beer? That's it. That's all I'm going to say about it. If you like hops, you like good beer, and you like hops, I don't know. It's delicious. If you're, if you like your hazies, you like good beer all around, this is going to do you. There you go. Another review in the books. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out on the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing a podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little Hill Farmstead jammer right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.